welcome back guys to yet another world of warcraft video on this channel today we are going over what my goal making plans for 9.2 currently and onwards will be the reason that i actually want to make this video is so people know what i'm currently focusing and spending my time on but also if you're lacking ideas or some inspiration then maybe you could take some from this video uh but before we do get into it make sure that you guys drop a like on the video and also a comment down below and subscribe to the channel with notifications on all that youtube jazz because you know it uh, supports the channel the algorithm all that good stuff but anyway let's get into it of course as you can see right here on the screen there are two accounts open now why would i have two accounts open like this you might ask well it is mainly because of legendary crafting because legendary crafting is one of the main things that i have been doing since i don't have a watch on but i'm doing the anyway um it's one of the main things that I've been doing ever since that, you know, we've been able to prepare for it in 9.2. And now that we've had a couple days with it, then, you know, we can actually see a good amount of actual sales from it. And uh, for the foreseeable future, you know, a couple weeks, I'll probably be doing this actively day in and day out. Uh, and, and you know, to support it, of course, we're doing uh, Crafters Mark Year, the Crafters Mark 4, and also the 262s, Crafters Mark the first ones uh, to support. Now, obviously, these are markets that require a lot of liquid gold to get into. So if it's not something that you're actually into, you can go into the material markets that support the legendary. So you can go in and, for example, farm for Proginium War, first flowers to get the Progenita Essentia, or you can go the leather route or anything like that. The good thing is we have videos for all of it, so you guys can check that out on the channel. Um, something that I will also be doing is I'll be doing a bunch of Proginium and First Flower farming for the Progenita Essentia. The reason that I'm doing it is because I want to see how the drop rates are going to change, especially when we're going to be getting flying. So if you're seeing this video and we already have flying, which we have in about half a week um, from the time that I'm recording this video, uh, then we might already have some numbers on it, but it's definitely going to change it up a little bit. Um, but also when all of this balances out, I have my mission tables. Now mission tables is something that I've been talking about on this channel for a very long time. And I have 45 level sixties that are currently, uh, on their way to being maxed out on the mission table. It is a very, very good way of making gold and will continuously be very good all the way going to, uh, you know, 10.0 whenever they nerf it, probably in the pre-patch. Um, so that is something that you guys definitely also could get into. We have a lot of videos explaining the entire process. So you guys should definitely look at that if you're interested in something like that. And then also to support the mission tables whenever these more uh, current uh, expansion material markets slow down, then we'll probably get back into group farming for um, the... Uh, more popular old world materials maybe some transmog and all that because that is also something that we've done on the channel so that's kind of what i will be doing uh going towards 10.0 of course we will also be talking about when you know in little over a month we get an announcement for the new expansion whenever we get the beta for it then i'll be making videos on that and i also you know towards the new expansion I'll be making videos about what we can invest into, what, what we can hold on to, spend our time with, and all this stuff to prepare for the new expansion. So there's a bunch of plans. I hope you guys are excited. Uh, and, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys being with me this far into the expansion. As for how much gold that we've actually made with legendaries, is um, I can tell you that reset day we sold for in sales. I don't have the total profit yet, but in sales we had just over 70 million in sales on reset day. Now Thursday, which is the second day after, which is right now at the end of Thursday when I'm recording this, I have had over 20 million in sales. So that means that we're up over 90 million in sales in two days. Uh, and that number will probably go over 100 million, um, you know, when we get onto Friday tomorrow for me um and you know obviously it's not all profit a lot of it is i've reinvested over 50 million already so there's a bunch of gold that's going into that uh and if you guys are interested in seeing that whole process of course we're streaming pretty much every weekday over on twitch.tv slash sensible so if you guys haven't been over there yet make sure you actually go over there um but that's all that i have for this video um 
at this very moment, we are going to be focusing very heavily on legendaries. So that's what we're going to be talking about on the channel. Uh, but that is going to be all that I had for this video. Uh, so until the next one. See you guys.